Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Time to show you my purchases from the latest release from Chanel here in the UK, which is Les Beige uh, collection. There are quite a few items in the collection. Um, my main focus, as always, was the nail polishes because I knew there were four coming out and I collect, so uh, that was exciting to get those, although beige isn't my favourite colour. I'll come to those in a minute, but first of all, um, just running through what else is in the collection. Uh, the product that I think I've read the most about, people seem the most excited because it's kind of a new product for Chanel, certainly recently, are the um, Healthy Glow Sheer Colour Stick Blushes. And there are three of these. I got this one, which is um, the pink one, blush number 21. I don't think it's actually got a colour, but as you can see, um, a fairly uh, mid-toned warm pink. Uh, that's a contradiction in terms, isn't it? Mid-toned. It's a warm pink, I would say. Now, I um, didn't set out intending actually to get one of these. I'm not a great uh, stick blush lover. I've had a number of NARS multiples over the years, and I think they're probably the gold standard of these stick products that um, they've been doing for a long, long time. Um, and most of them are blushes, some of them are kind of more tan, some of them are highlighters, and um, I've had them, I've liked them. They last absolutely for ages. I do think they're kind of useful for touch-ups on the go, and this in the end is why I got this one. Um, the texture of these is unusual. It's not really like the NARS one. Um, if I had to describe it, it's... Um, a bit like the um, the cream blushes that they brought out, I think, two years ago. I've got one here, and this is um, Presage, so a kind of apricot-y one. And if you have these, you'll know that they're an unusual... They're less sticky than most cream blushes are. They're almost... They feel like powder um, when you touch... Um, now, I will say that the ones in the pan are more powdery than the tube, but there are definite similarities. Now, I find the cream blushes, these ones, quite difficult to work with. I was advised by a sales assistant to use a duo fibre brush, and I do find either that or quite a stiff, almost a foundation brush, works best for working these um, rather than fingers, which I use with other cream products. Um, and they are quite pigmented. Um, now, the, the, the stick is a bit like that. Um, I haven't worn them. I only got these yesterday, so I haven't worn for a full day. I mean, there is some kind of slippage to um, manipulate them with your fingers, but not as much as with the NARS and certain other stick blushes that I've had over the years. Um, I can't tell you, as I say, how long they last yet because I haven't worn one for a full day, but I thought it would be kind of a useful product to have in the handbag. They're, um, I don't know about the product... It's eight grams. I can't tell you how much is in a NARS multiple without going and looking. My impression is there's less. These are um, a slimmer uh, tube, far less bulky than the NARS one. And the beautiful Chanel packaging that really uh, travels well in the handbag. You know, these do not get um, gunged up when you throw them around as much as other makes. So that was why I got that one. I should say there is a coral tone, which is very, very bright, a bit like the Presage, maybe even a bit brighter. And there is also a kind of tan one, which actually was very, very nice if you're not in, if you don't like orangey tans and you wanted a kind of um, tanner um, bronzer in a stick that might be a good option uh, I have the Tom Ford one from last year or two years ago that is really excellent and I've made hardly any impression on it so I didn't get that but it was a nice product so I got that there are two powders um Le Beige powders oh sorry knocked the iPad there um 
they are, I'm showing you last year's here, they're much thinner multiple stripes. Uh, they did a product in a kind of oblong a few years ago, which was very reminiscent of the two that have come out this year. Um, the one for fairer skinned is a paler pink than that um, with a paler um, kind of beige peach. Uh, when I swatched it, the consistency, the powder was very fine, very nice, um, but there was just there was no colour at all so I guess it was kind of a, a finishing powder I'm very very fair and you know it's just a very faint um, pink haze on my hand certainly and the other one um, was uh, two tones of tan um, for darker complexions it wasn't that dark and again if you were in the market for a kind of contour um, bronzer that wasn't too orangey you might like that the consistency was really lovely but I just didn't need another of those so those were the two powders there are two lip glosses um, pale nudie pinks I don't wear lip gloss really so um, that wasn't for me um, there was a lip balm in a stick form which uh, was pretty and I was quite tempted but decided I didn't really need a very expensive lip balm so um, it was just the blush for me and the four nail polishes. The um, sales assistant was wearing this which is beige rose. I'm not generally a pink lover but this looked absolutely sensational on her fingers and I can't wait to try it she was actually very tanned and um, it didn't look at all chalky it looked really beautiful beautiful contrast with her tan looked like a really nice formula um, and then there are these three kind of straight beiges all this though this one is more in the kind of particular um, taupey range quite warm cream and then these two um one of which this one precious beige has a slight micro shimmer um in the bottle and then this one a much more um plain basic totally mid-tone beige i would say so i haven't had a chance to wear any of them yet Sarah, as usual, has got swatches on her blog if you want to um, go and look at them. Two of these are limited edition. I can't quite remember which. Certainly this one. Um, and I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure Beige Pure is going to be permanent. And one of the other two, possibly Precious Beige. Not sure about that. Um, so um, those were my purchases from the Lay Beige um, range. I showed you the a few days ago, um, or the other week, and my purchases from the Blues collection. And I had missed out the Stilo because they hadn't then got it in stock. And I nearly missed out entirely because it had almost sold out. But um, when I went back yesterday, I got this one, which is called Pearl de Lune, part of the Blues collection. Um, if you love their Stilos, and I really do. Um, this is a really gorgeous one. So I was pleased to get this. Um, a really shimmery, uh, cool toned taupe. Beautifully soft to work with. And these, you know, generally stay in place like anything until you take them off with waterproof uh, eye makeup remover. But some of them are much harder to work with than others. This is one of the soft ones. So a really nice formulation. Um, again, I haven't actually worn it yet. So I can't um, swear on my mother's life or anybody else's that it's going to perform as they usually do. But it looked very promising swatching on the back of my hand. Um, and I got a very nice um, gift with purchase. Um, this has in it... Uh, what does it have in it? has a mini mascara, um, two micro serums, um, a rather interesting lipstick palette. I'll show you to try out the Cocos. There's also uh, one of their primers, the white one. Oh, no, it's not that. So many bits and pieces in here. Um, I think this will probably go up on eBay, mind you, because um, I tend not to use these samples except for the skin ones but there you go quite a nice I love Chanel um, little palette with a teeny tiny brush of the various new cocoa colors to try 
So um, it's quite a good idea, really. Uh, so that was my gift with substantial purchase. And there's also the exciting news that they're bringing out, um, well, they're re-promoting three previous nail polishes and bringing out one new one, which is a beautiful, shimmery, um, mint green, a bit like Jade from a few years ago. So I'm guessing that it, while it might not be the sellout Jade was because there's far more choices of uh, aquas and mint greens, witness the girl Anne on my fingers nowadays than there was when Jade came out. It's still a really beautiful shade that the collectors are going to want. And that's due out in the UK on the 29th of June, I was told. And they're also going to be re-promoting May from 2012. So if you're a pretty pink lover and missed out on May, that will be available. Uh, Ballerina, which has been re-promoted several times. It's a really soft, pretty bridal type of um, pink neutral. And what was the other one? Oh, Pesh Nacre, which I think is probably from about 2010, 2009, thereabouts. Really, really pretty peach. And they're all coming out with um, the new versions of Chance, which is my least favourite Chanel fragrance. But they're bringing it out. This one is Eau Vive in a number of formulations. So, I mean, maybe I'll prefer these to the original. I don't know. Um, so that's the news from Chanel and uh, as always I'll let you know how these work out when I've had a chance to wear them. Hope you're all doing well and speak to you soon. Bye for now.